Okay, guys, uh, here is my uh, contribution to the uh, YouTube uh, world of private Blu-ray collections. I'm a first-timer, so please bear with me. If I do anything wrong or if any if you have any advice for me, just... Uh, Feel free to uh, comment below. The uh, the top shelf are my media books. I decided to uh, stick them all together, uh, even though at first I didn't like the idea because I I, don't, I just wanted to integrate uh, all all formats into one you know into my general population as I call it. Um, yeah, it's not a it's not a big collection. This is a D uh, DVD, but it's the only, it's one of the only uh, versions of Blood Beach available. Um, yeah, I'm not going to pull these out, because uh, I've seen a lot of videos where guys are, are pulling out each one, and it's just not, it's not feasible. I have 3,500 plus titles in this collection. Um, evil that men do. Yeah, somebody needs to do that. In the states, like really, *Fright Night* Part Two, *Ghost House*. I have the *Scream Factory* *Ghost House* uh, Blu-ray that comes with it's a double feature. I get this sucker out, but I really like this version, so I picked it up on eBay. Oh yeah. Humongous. I needed to have that because of the fixed audio. As you guys may or may not know, oh, these are, these have been slanting over. Two extras, yeah, one with, one has the uh, breast cover, as I call it. The breast cover. Box soldiers, ambulance. And the cat's eye and silver bullet. I gotta get these. Uh, I gotta get some bookends. All right. So these are these shelves are from uh, a company called Atlantic, and they're Atlantic Max Steel is what they call these. These are perfect for large collections. Each shelf can accommodate up to 12 shelves. I've got six of these babies and one, another one on the way. Um, and uh, they come, they, they can hold a ton of Blu-rays and DVDs, a ton. And, and the, although the best part is, they are so easy to assemble. I mean, holy, it took me 10 minutes, literally, because it's so easy. It's so easy. Uh, anyway, uh, like I mentioned before, I decided to integrate everything together. Uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, media books, steel books, Criterion. At one point, I had these separated by label and by packaging type. Alienator. This is um. Where is it? oh right here? This. Uh, I wasn't too crazy about the titles in this set, but Volume Two promises to be a little better. As far as picture titles. Look at this. This is a real beaut. Uh, you know, I, I buy these. I buy a lot of these for the packaging. Um, like Angel Heart. You know, this is... Got that from Kimchi DVD. It's they sell. He's really nice. Slipcase editions. Uh, by the way, um, 
Alien Covenant, Amity of Horror, Apocalypto, yeah, Atomic Blonde. I couldn't resist the Kenchi DVD exclusive of that big, beautiful lady there. Well, she's not big, but she's beautiful. Um, yeah, I just I saw it on PC 13th. The apartment. All right, so and I've got my Klipsch bookshelf speakers here. These are connected to my 75 inch TV, which I got right here. I don't, I don't use a sound bar, but I use these speakers are just fine for what I, what I need them for. They sound great. All right. So somebody needs to do. Somebody needs to do. Hang on a second. Here's another. Exclusive from 88. Uh, a lot of these movies are crap, to be honest. Uh, you know, but uh, you can't resist these covers, man. You just can't. And Paramount needs to get off their butts. Uh, I mean, I, I have these and they're region free, but come on, man. These are classics. I can't recommend this enough. This is from Scorpion. It's a DVD. It's called Baby Sister. With the, the lovely Phoebe Cates. This movie was so sweet. And, and it, it was really good. It's a sort of a thriller. Kind of hard to describe. The Boogans. Uh, rumor has it that British label... Eureka uh, is going to do a version of that, which I will pick up. Um, I don't have okay. These are R A to Z. They're alphabetized. However, they are not alphabetized completely A to Z. What I mean by that is uh, A titles with the A's, B's with the B's, C's with the C's, but they're not like an exact order. So they're all mixed in. Look at this steelbook. This is like a really nice steelbook of the Book of Eli. I mean, look at that thing. It's a, it's a horizontal steel it's from Germany, I think. And it's the, it's the only version of this movie I want short of a UHD, which may not happen. The Bushwhacker. Not into the Mondo stuff much, but they, you know, they do have some great stuff. Um, yeah. So. Potter by Lara La Bamba. Oh, uh, Blue Steel, man. Who the? Why isn't this out yet in the U.S.? I had to import this. Holy moly. Come on. Studio Canal, get off your butts. This, I decided to take out of the main packaging because uh it's it belongs on the shelf but the pack the box is kind of awkward it's too large bulky and i don't have a space for it but i uh, the, the movie deserves to be shown so i took that out of the box and put it there same with gone with the wind look at that grindhouse is awesome some people say that the picture quality on this is not good, but I disagree. It's it's fine. I'm not one of those armchair generals who have to analyze everything by pixel. Two Mondos. 
and you know these are all um most of these are fun watches some i buy for the packaging like i mentioned earlier um I'd say that 95% of my collection, 95% are made up of movies that I absolutely love, love and adore. Yeah. Really love this stuff. Breaking Miranda, we had to watch. Brazil, great picture quality. What's this? Blue ice. All right. Basket case on an arrow does some awesome shit. I tell you. All right. Um, that's shelf number one. Now, on to this behemoth. I'm going to get rid of that sh this shelf and replace it with the one I mentioned earlier. Atlantic Max Steel because it holds more and I need the space. I'm seriously I'm running out. I am running out of space, man. And these are all DVDs that would not fit on the shelf. They they were on the shelf integrated, but I had to I had to move them because there's just no room. I got some. Give me a break. A short dessert. Um, these sets, I believe, are from Nova Media. So is this. Yeah, it's Nova Media. Oh, man, Max, what a great set. I think that's HD Zeta. HD Zeta, Ginger Snaps Trilogy, and Pan's Labyrinth. From I believe Kinchi. Um. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know. I got this from Italy. I had to import it. It's a nice picture quality. Is all right, but you know, it's Italy. This is how I knew the film because this is how it was, it was released. To theaters in the U.S. in 1983 or so. City of the Walking Dead. It's uh, Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare City. But I love that cover and I love... I prefer that title to Nightmare City. That's how it was released in this country. But I'm keeping that cover. Corruption. Close Encounters Contact. I've got this behemoth here from Criterion, which I have yet to delve into. I'm really glad that Severin put this out. I mean, uh, this the movie. I don't know. I just love this movie. A lot of people are indifferent about it and don't care about it, but I do, man. I thank you, Severin, and I got this case for it—a black case. Of course, curtains. Um, Synapse is supposed to be definitive. The changeling set. I also have the Severin set. But look at that beauty. That's, you know. Whew. All right. Um, cut and run. Pristine. Look at this. Another import. I no, I import a lot of stuff. Look at that. I import a lot of stuff from overseas because of the packaging, man. Holy crap, that was cute uh cool. Blood Beast. Rumor has it that this is being released on 4K. Oh, actually, not this one. Not this one. Uh, it's Casino. 
It might be a 4K. It might be 4K headed. Cinderella, look at this. I'm not into Disney shit, but I just had to have this, man. Look at this. Had to have this. My God, ain't that a beaut? Ain't that gorgeous? I really should put that in a a poly sleeve. What do you call them? Poly sleeve. Contamination. Awesome cover. Cobra. Cobra. Another import for packaging. Chaplin, look at that. Isn't that nice? From Kimchi. Of course, you have to have the Arrow version of Carrie. I mean, you, you have to. You have to. If you are, you're a collector, you have to have it. Oh, here's the... Uh, it's too bad Severin goofed on this. This is actually a nice release and nice El Slippo there. Sorry for the glare, but... I'm doing this at 1 a.m. and I'm using the uh, lighting on the camera. And again, all, I also apologize for the shakiness, my shaky cam. Um, I'll try to do better next time around, my next video, if I do make one. Cloud Atlas. I had to. Uh, I had to get this from Germany. This steel right here. This is just an awesome looking steel. Look at that. It's just great. It's just great. Yeah. Um, I also have um, some Blu-rays in DVD packaging. These are Blu-rays, folks. But I kept this for the packaging, even though, you know, I mean, I, I don't really care about uniformity. The cases are taller, whatever. But, you know, th th this stuff doesn't really matter to me. I'm not OCD about this stuff. I did, the, did the same with Castaway. This is a Blu-ray Blu here, but it's a, this is a DVD steelbook. And this movie has yet to make it to 4K, and that's really stupid. This will look, this will look great on 4K. Same thing here. Look, Casino Royale. Look at this awesome shit. You know? The church. Nice job by uh, Scorpion. And Vestron, man. What's happening to Vestron? What? Are they dead? Come on, man. Enough of that stuff. Enough of that stuff. Get, get, get back to work. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I thought I had a City of the Living Dead steelbook. Somewhere. From Arrow. Alright, so that's then the last shelf. Well, actually not the last. I'm also glad that Arrow did this. At least this. This is Dead End Driving. This is this movie is so awesome. If you like post apocalyptic movies, go for it, man. Eighties, the best. Just the best. Waiting for this to be upgraded to blue. It's I thought that shout might do it at some point, but import from Australia. Best looking version. Packaging wise, I don't really know about the picture quality. I mean I think it's was it only available in a set in the US? I don't know. Uh Vinegar Syndrome are the men. They're the men. <laughs> Look at that. That's just awesome. And the movie is so much fun. It's not a masterpiece, but it is to me. Um, I'm hoping that Severin upgrades this. This is one of Fochi's 
the better late entry movies. I really, I really enjoyed this one. It's a DVD, and I, I'm hoping that uh, they'll upgrade at some point. Devil Dog Hound of Hell uh, was released by Shriek Show on DVD. On, on Blu-ray. This is There's a Blu-ray in here. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, either Code Red or somebody else would upgrade it. It was Rain. Alright. Rising. Devil's Honey. Devil Hunter. Demonoid. Dominique. Okay, and Dark Soldiers. Day after tomorrow. I'm looking for a black case for this. A black case with the Blu ray logo, not that one. So, yeah, this is from another import. I think this is. What is this, Blue Fans? What is this? I don't know what this is. It's either Blue Fans or. What's the other one? I forget. Yeah. So. Alright. Damnation Alley. This is the bottom shelf. Dogs of War. A couple versions of Drive there. That'd be done. A lot of, arrow, a lot of good arrow shit. Dreamscape. And the Divergent films. Okay, so. On to the next. These are this is my Star Wars collection. Alright, so Alright. You know, I really liked I really enjoyed Solo, the film. It's and Rogue One, oh man, I loved it. I didn't like Jedi The Last Jedi. As much as these other ones. And I, I have to really say that I'm not a huge... I wasn't never a huge Star Wars fan, but I am now. I definitely am now. These are... Imports. Right. Blade Runner 2049 and the original. This is my Lawrence of Arabia set, which is a little too awkward. To store anywhere else. On with the wind. And down there. Are some Shout Factory DVDs. Of some Corman stuff. That. Uh, I want to keep displayed. But. that's This is how the best way I could. I could. Find to display these. I, I, I didn't want them scattered around the collection. I wanted all. I wanted them all together. Uh, and this is Planet of the Apes set and the Blade Runner briefcase that was released back in the day. 2005, I think, or something like that. That I had to have. And th both of these will be replaced by the Atlantic Max deal. Alright, so... Back here, this is the second max deal. All right, That's the second max deal. All right, I should remove this because I ordered the. I just ordered the Kino version. What do you think, guys? Is it is that head gonna fall off? Nope, it didn't. Good. So remove that for now. Um, bed next door was a really nice independent release. The bread is still still sealed. I had the UK Region B, which I sold off when I discovered that there was going to be a Region A version. The driver. The Driver Man. I really like this movie a 
a lot. Oh, God, I love this fucking movie. Um, Gentle Sunshine. Film Arena. I mean, nice exclusive, of course. The 88 version of Eyeball. Right. Escape from New York. The uh, 4K from uh, Studio Canal from UK, I think, or France, one of those. Okay. I got a black case for this. Looks really good in the black case. Kino. Kino does good stuff most of the time. Um, still waiting for this to be upgraded to Blu-ray. The Earthling. Thank you, Kino. You're the best. This was one of my uh, holy grails. Holy Grail. Another reason not to do, not to pull out too many of these is for the running time. I don't want this video to last four hours because it would. It would if I did that. You know, this is the... Um, Event Horizon DVD set. Alright. Five Tall Tales from a great UK company, Indicator. I got rid of the uh, belly band, as they call it, because I, I, I don't know, I, I don't like it. I should have I should have kept it, because that's the only way to identify this set. But as long as I know what it is, that's all that matters, right? I know terror, another holy grail. Still can't believe this is out on Blu-ray, man. It's amazing. This is the Friday the Thirteenth set. Rambo's in 4K. My wallet. <laughs> the fog. Um, I did this to the Screen Factory version. I took, I got rid of the, the, the slip cover, got a black case, and this is how I'm, I chose to display it, because it just looks so much better. This artwork looks so much nicer. Uh, especially in a black case, so I got rid of the uh, slip. I think I'm, I may have it somewhere. I don't know, but this is how I chose to display this. And I, I've done this with a couple other ones. I think Squirm is another one. I got, and I got rid of the slip. Not that they were bad slips. It's just that the the, the original art just looks better. With, um, uh, in my case, and I, that's how I chose to display it. FX, I integrated, I integrated, uh, FX 1 and 2 because, see, there's the uh, other artwork behind the DVD because of space issues. But if I ever move into a mansion, 
uh, I am going to reintegrate my entire collection and put the, put everything on the shelf. Um, I was hoping Screen Factory would do a box set of the Final Destination movies, but um, I decided not to wait and said, screw it, and just got the individuals. I, I just got these, by the way. Um, I'm a fan of every one of these movies. The third one is my least favorite, but I I'll, I'll enjoy them all. I love part five. And, you know, an, an, a set would have been nice, but, you know, whatever. All right. That would have been nice, but it is what it is. There's the other ghost house version with oh with witchery. If I find a media book for witchery, I'm gonna get rid of this Shout Factory edition that's gone with the wind, which belongs in that red velvet box you, you saw earlier. I just took it out. Ghost Keeper Gate 2. Gate 2 belongs with the original gate. I don't know why it's down there. Gross Anatomy is another Kino sort of upgrade. It's not really an upgrade. It's only The only upgrade is in the uh, packaging and the artwork. Cause, because the Mill Creek version used different artwork. And I'm looking for a black case with a logo for this. Oh, it does have a logo. Look at this. This is look at this artwork. <laughs> this movie is just bonkers. But Clint Eastwood is nowhere near that fit. <laughs> you know? But I love it. I just love the artwork on that. And great movie. Great movie. Yeah, these things hold a lot of stuff. Man, these are... This one has nine shelves. Cause I kind of... I kind of... um Expanded the shelves to bigger than what they... What I should... How I should do it. Because I wanted to accommodate uh, the DVDs and the different size cases like these. And these are taller cases, obviously. I'm really hoping that uh, somebody, Arrow, hopefully, upgrades this. This is my second favorite Fochi after the Gates of Hell. Nice artwork in the black case. I have the digital book, the media book from uh, Austria that has the original U.S. poster art, which I prefer. Eight, the eight Harry Potter flicks. Bottom shelf. That's that. Uh, what is this? Higher learning. Okay. The Region B version of the Hellraiser set. Mm -hmm. Red bodies. Iris. Experiments. And that. Okay. So we continue on to the H's. This is the third shelf. It's the third shelf. Hell Knight, thank you, uh, Screen Factory. I really like this triple feature. It's a Best Buy exclusive. But this is actually a magnet. This is a magnet. So this is what it looks like. They're both awesome. Alright, so I don't know what to do. And of course, this is from, I think, Film Arena. This is a 
the only one I have. Heroes of Telemark with a crappy transfer, but it is on Blu-ray. Two sucky Howland sequels. Hands of Steel, the 88 films version. I like that art. Hobbit Movies House. Okay. Look at that. A little bent on that thing here, but because uh, this whole thing actually fell on me <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, yeah, this whole thing fell on my head, tipped over while I was moving it. Some some of these I need, I just need to pull out and show you guys because it's just so awesome. Okay, I don't. I wasn't crazy about the movie, but I was about that steelbook. So, yeah. All right, the James Bonds. Uh, these are, I think these were Circuit City exclusives. I don't remember if they were. I can't, uh, my memory's not good. But I decided to, to keep these sets because of the packaging. I mean, look at, these are really nice, hard, hard cases. Okay, they're Blu-rays in here. This is... Originally, this was a DVD set, a collection, released by Circuit City, I think. Uh, but I don't like, I didn't like that 50th anniversary flat box that MGM came out with um, in 2012, was it? So I decided to put, to stick uh, all my different Blu-ray Blu discs from across various releases into these um, slim cases in these boxes, and... And they look they look much nicer uh, on on my shelf and collection wise, and I think most most of you guys would agree. <laughs> 